All right, it's Movember, week number four. This week, I'll be talking about diagnosis. Okay, take three. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so this is week four. We're talking about diagnosis. I got three pages to read, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay. The American Cancer Society's position regarding early detection is as follows, and I quote... Research has not yet proven that the potential benefits of testing outweigh the harms of testing and treatment. The American Cancer Society believes that men should not be tested without learning about what we know and don't know about the risks and possible benefits of testing and treatment. Starting at age 50 or 45 if African American or brother or father suffered from condition before age 65, uh, talk to your doctor about the pros and cons of testing so you can decide if testing is the right choice for you. Now, the only test that can fully confirm the diagnosis of prostate cancer is a biopsy. The removal of small pieces of the prostate for microscopic examination. However, prior to a biopsy, less invasive testing can be conducted. There are also several other tests that can be used to gather more information about the prostate and the urinary tract. Digital rectal, yeah, digital rectal examination, or DRE, may allow a doctor to detect prostate abnormalities. Uh, cyst cystoscopy shows the urinary tract from inside the bladder using a thin flexible camera tube inserted down the urethra. Transrectal ultrasonography creates a picture of the prostate using sound waves from a probe in the rectum. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. That sounds painful anyway. Uh, prostate imaging. Ultrasound or US, and magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, are the two main imaging methods used for prostate cancer detection. Urologists use transrectal ultrasound during prostate biopsy and can sometimes see a hypoechoic area uh, tissues or structures that reflect re uh, relatively less of the ultrasound waves directed at them. But uh, US, or ultrasound, has poor tissue resolution and thus is generally not clinically used. In contrast, prostate MRI has superior soft tissue resolution. MRI is a type of imaging that uses magnetic fields to locate and characterize prostate cancer. Uh, Multi-parametric uh, uh, prostate MRI consists of four types of MRI sequences called T2 weighted imaging, T1 weighted imaging, diffusion weighted imaging, MR spectroscopic imaging, and dynamic contrast enhanced imaging. Uh, radiologists use multi-paramedic MRI to locate and identify prost uh, prostate cancer. Reading too many big words, barely pronounce the smaller ones. Wow. Uh, currently, MRI is used to identify targets for prostate biopsy using fusion MRI with ultrasound or MRI guidance alone. In men who are candidates for active surveillance fusion MR slash US guided prostate biopsy detected 33% of cancers compared to 7% with standard ultrasound guided biopsy. 
Prostate MRI is also used for surgical planning for men undergoing robotic prostate prostate to me. Prostate to me. Prostate to me. Okay. It also <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Prostatectomy. Okay. Uh, it is also shown to help surgeons decide whether to resect or spare the neurovascular bundle, determine return to urinary continence, and help assess surgical difficulty. <sighs> My writing is atrocious. Um, okay, biopsy. Biopsy. There we go. Uh, if cancer is suspected, a biopsy is offered ex expediently. During a biopsy, urologist or radiologist obtains tissue samples from the prostate via the rectum. A biopsy gun inserts and removes uh, special hollow core needles, usually three to six on each side of the prostate, in less than a second. Wow. Uh, prostate biopsies are routinely, uh, routinely done on an outpatient basis and rarely require hospitalization. 55% of men report discomfort during prostate biopsy. Huh, so a little bit more than half say that it's comfortable, it's fine, it's, you know, you can, you can deal with it. So it's, it's not as bad as it sounds, well, according to 55% of men, anyway. I'd like to know what the other 45% said. Uh, the Gleason score. The tissue samples are then examined under a microscope to determine whether cancer cells are present and evaluate the microscopic features, or Gleason score, of any cancer found. Prostate-specific membrane antigen is a transmembrane carboxypectase and exhibits folate hydrolase activity. This, this protein is overexpressed in prostate cancer tissues and is associated with a higher Gleason score. There you go. Uh, tumor markers. Uh, tissue samples can be stained for the presence of PSA or prostate specific antigen and other tumor markers in order to determine the origin of malignant cells that have metastasized uh, small cell carcin carcinoma is very rare 1% uh, of a type of prostate cancer that then, then cannot be diagnosed using the PSA. Or that cannot be diagnosed by using the PSA. As of 2009, researchers are trying to determine the best way to screen for this type of prostate cancer because it is a relatively unknown and rare type of prostate cancer, but very serious and quick to spread to other parts of the body. Uh, possible methods include chromato chrom chromatographic separation methods by mass spectrometry, spectrometry, or protein capturing by immunoxacies or immunized antibodies. The test method will involve quantifying the amount of the biomarker 
uh, PCI or protein C inhibitor with reference to the Gleason score. Not only is this test quick, it is also sensitive. It can detect patients in the diagnostic gray zone, particularly those with a serum free to total prostate specific antigen ratio of 10 to 20 percent. <sighs> the oncoprotein BCL2 has been associated with the development of andro androgen independent uh, prostate cancer due to its high levels of expression in androgen independent tumors in advanced stages of the pathology. The un the upregulating yeah, the upregulating of BCL2 after androgen abla ablation in uh, prostate carcinoma cell lines and in a castrated male rat model further established a connection between BCL2 expression and prostate cancer progression. Wow, they're using rats. See, that's what they do with rats. They go and they make them their test subjects and do whatever they want to them. And society says, hey, that's fine, because they're only rats. Well, you know, rats are animals. Shouldn't be tested upon. Anyway, that's just my opinion. The expression of KI67 by uh, immunochemistry immunohostochemistry uh, may be a, a significant pre predictor of patient outcome for men with prostate cancer. ERK5 is a protein that may be used as a marker. ERK5 is present in uh, abnormally high levels of prostate cancer, including invasive cancer which has spread to other parts of the body. It is also present in relapse cancer following precious hormone therapy. Research shows that that uh, reducing the amount of ERK5 found in cancerous cells reduces their invasiveness. And finally, classification. Um, an important part of evaluating prostate cancer is determining the stage or how far the cancer has spread. Knowing the stage helps define prognosis and is useful when selecting therapies. The most common system is the four-stage TNM system, abbreviated from tumor, nodes, and metastasis. Metastasis. Yeah, metastasis. Its components include the size of the tumor, the number of involved lymph nodes, and the presence of any other metastasis. The most important distinction made by any, uh, any staging system is whether or not the cancer is still confirmed to the prostate. In the TNM system, uh, chronical or clinical, clinical. Uh, T1 and T2 cancers are found only on the prostate, while T3 and T4 cancers have spread elsewhere. Several tests can be used to look for evidence of spread. Medical specialty professional organizations recommended against the use of PET scans, CT scans, or bone scans 
when a physician stages early prostate cancer with low risk for metastasis. Uh, those tests would be appropriate in such cases as when a CT scan evades spread with the pelvis, a bone scan looks for spread to the bones, and endorectal coil magnetic resonance imaging to closely evaluate the prostatic capsule and the seminal vesicles. <sighs> Bone scan should reveal um, osteoblastic appearance uh, due to increased bone density in the areas of bone metastasis I know I'm pronouncing that wrong I know I am I know it metastasis that's how it's spelled anyway opposite to what is found in many other cancers that met metastasize. After a prostate biopsy, a pathologist looks at the samples under a microscope. If cancer is present, the pathologist reports the grade of the tumor. The grade tells how much the tumor tissue differs from normal prostate tissue and suggests how fast the tumor is likely to grow. The Gleason system is used to grade prostate... Wow! Prostate tumors from 2 to 10, where a Gleason score of 10 indicates the most abnormalities. The pathologist assigns a number from 1 to 5 for the most common pattern observed under the microscope then does the same for the second most common pattern. The sum of these two numbers is the Gleason score. The Whitmore-Jewett stage is another method sometimes used. Done! And this is just a blank piece of paper. And that's done. So there you go. Week 4 of Movember. This is really, really, really starting to itch. And that's it for all the diagnos diagnosis, diagnostic, I don't know. But anyway, all, the all of the information that I have for you this week is done. That's it. That is it. Come on, 20-minute video here. Just reading about that. Had to restart three different times. So I am done. I will s I'll be back next week with the fifth and final Movember. Little, little frantic Friday thing. And then the week after that, we'll go back to the actual rants that this little segment is known for. So how about that? That'll be great. All right, so enjoy the rest of your day. Sorry to take up so much of your time, but this stuff is important. Read it. <coughs> okay, do your research on it. Now, click that link down below there and uh, check out, uh, you know, it's not only to support it, right? It's not only to make donations, but there's a lot of information about prostate cancer in there. And this whole Movember epidemic or fad or movement, if you will. Whatever it is. But anyway, yeah, check that out. Check out all the other links uh, in the rest of the description box. And take it easy.